Mad Media Monday wrapping up. I've already made the Taiwan specials for the next two weeks. I was say I won't add more. Um, pardon me if they get a little bit repetitive. Um, I'm, you know, as for the Taiwan special, uh, I'm trying to keep them between 10 and 15 minutes. That's what I'm going for. And I, I, I think I pulled that off this week. I think, not sure. Now, uh, this past week, I threw together a special Taiwan special. And that's where I, um, I, I don't know, I, I had a, I ha a, a little montage of miniature, little mini short blogs, uh, vlogs, excuse me, that I put together. And I wanted to just put those into the Taiwan special because I don't know, I, I had this, I mean, I, I keep saying this, but I've, I've had this awakening where all of a sudden I don't care to keep quiet anymore. You know, the, there are reasons why I was keeping quiet and I will talk about that. That like there are issues and things going on, not mine, by the way. But, you know, when you feel like someone's holding a knife to your back, you tend to kind of be quiet. And after 10 years, I just kind of decided that it was all a bluff. Or that the guy with a knife is weak. So I've, I've just, I've had this opening up of ideas and it all comes from me saying, look, I lived in Taiwan 10 years and I've got something to say about this. And speaking of that, the shirts are out. Look at this shirt. Look at the back. There it says, because I have something to say about this. This is the, the, uh, it's the season. Every three months, I'm going to do a new podcast shirt. I'm going to wear the same shirt all three months and it is going to reek to high heaven You'll be able to smell it through the, 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 the speakers. You'll be able to smell it through the, the, the video screen, whether you're watching on YouTube or you're, you're listening. Uh, no, I, I do plan to wash the shirt, I do, so you know. But every season, I'm going to have a new design. And patrons, it can start for $5 a month on Patreon. But $15 a month, uh, you get the $35 shirt every three months. So it's $45. Uh, but, but, but you go to jesse.coffee and you click on shirts and you can buy the shirt. And there are a few other shirts. In fact, you know what? See, this is the podcast weekly. I don't know if you know this or not, but this is kind of my announcements podcast. It's more therapeutic for me. This is the podcast that I kept doing week after week after week, just with 10 minutes and no format, just to keep doing it. One of the issues in media is being regular. And, and I, that was the most important thing about the format. Well, here you go. Here's, here's one. Uh, this was another guy's shirt. And uh, it's a Sunday morning skate, uh, a kid here, Royu. I asked him, I said, what should I put on a shirt? He said, you should put, I skate Sunday morning. So I did that. There it says on the back, I skate Sunday morning. And yes, that's a Helvetica style font. Uh, look at that. The, the, the light adjusts. I hold up a white shirt and everything goes dark because the camera's adjusting. Isn't that, this is a Logitech 920C, by the way, the camera I'm using. Love it. So there it is. Uh, that, that's the new guy's thing one of the new guy's shirts. And you know, I'll show you the other one. Why not? Uh, this is the ink is a verb shirt. And I've actually got some things to say about that. I think I'm gonna put that in another video. There's another video. I'll be putting it on YouTube. It'll be at the ink is a verb. It's a channel. Ink is a verb is a channel. It's a YouTube channel. Ink is a verb. Go find it. And I'm going to make an announcement on that channel. And I'm going to wear this shirt when I do it. This little blue shirt. All these shirts are available at guys.com. And I figured, and then I've got this other shirt. This is, maybe you've seen me talk about this white shirt. It's like 120 bucks. That's because this is using my special sample fabric. This is like, you get like the factory tour. This is like you get to go into the president's Oval Office in your tour of the White House. You know, this is like the fancy, that, that's my sample fabric. That's expensive and it's really good. It's stretchy. Um, and and it, it cost me that much to make just one. So that's, that's extra kudos is what that is. But the other shirts are only $35. A lot of that includes shipping over the Pacific. Very, very expensive. All right. So enough about uh, the shirts. They're finally on sale. I'm so thrilled to finally have them. I'm absolutely thrilled. Just thrilled. I'm just so, I can't tell you how thrilled I am to have them. Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson, I, as you know, I finished my book, Watch, Stand, Pray 365. You can read it online. You can buy a hard copy. You can get it in most ebook stores free for now until I get to a thousand and then it's not free anymore. Uh, 99 cents on Amazon. That's the minimum for Amazon, the luxury reader. 
after I wrote that, I wrote that to, to the people that just keep raving about Jordan Peterson because I thought that they needed to have a devotional. I finished, I didn't listen to Jordan Peterson for, the, for that time, except for a quick little analysis of Kurzman Commando and analyze Jordan Peterson. And once I got done, I started watching it. Well, I've been watching Jordan Peterson and I watched his debate in Vancouver and I had stuff to say about it. So I am putting that into, it's gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna be a Jordan Peterson series. It'll be in the podcast weekly uh, playlists and streams. But th that's where I'm going to put that because the podcast weekly has announcements and then other special stuff throughout the week, possibly. So watch for that. The first one was about 33 minutes and it was really long and I was establishing a basis. I was establishing sort of my perspective uh, on, on the communication styles. After this though, I've got like 55 minutes. I'm going to be splicing it up into short little tinier segments. So watch for those to come through in the podcast feeds and through uh, and on YouTube. My, my analysis of the time, because there's, there were a lot of things that they missed in the debate as far as the content. So I won't elaborate on that earlier. You know, um, there's something that, that's come up in my personal life planning. Um, I, I'm evaluating what my project priorities are. And there are a lot of people in Taiwan asking me to teach them Linux. And I was all ready. I've got the book started. I've got the Udemy course opened up and I'm starting to fill in the details. I was all ready to create a Linux teaching curriculum. Even if you're not planning to use Linux, Zach, you would need this. It makes you a better boss to understand engineers. Just take the course. You'll know how Linux works. You can use your own computer better. You won't be one of those stupid consumers who only knows how to push the pretty button on the Mac. You know, a Mac is for consumers. It's not for people that think control. It's not for people that like to drive a stick. It's people passive, entertaining, make everything wonderful for me while I just use, 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 use. That's what, that's what Apple's targeting. That's why they have such a big share of the market. But Linux is designed for people that want to work under the hood and they know how stuff works. So Zach, for someone who's learning to fly a Cessna, who, or has already, whatever, uh, Linux is really your kind of thing. This class will help anyone understand computer guys more. We have politicians writing laws about the internet making a mess and it's a mess because they don't know how computers work. So this is for those politicians. I think everyone in Congress should watch my Linux curriculum. I'm going to have a free version, but the Udemy course is more interactive and it, I'll be teaching a lot more stuff in it and it'll have proof that you completed the course. But I'm not going to make the Udemy course yet. I decided this. I'm going to be making a little announcement and I'm going to talk more about it over at the Ink as a Verb channel. But... See, I've, I've got customers that I manage their servers for. They're very happy with the email and the web servers and the cloud storage and all this wonderful stuff that I give them for only $20 a month. They're, they're very thrilled with this. But some of the little glitches that they've been running into with the world and life, um, I need to go as a Linux developer, I need to develop my own Linux software I need to go finish writing my own Linux code and take that to the next level before I make this class teaching Linux. This is kind of a sort of a, not so much a come to Jesus moment, but a kind of a stay with Jesus moment when I came to a crossroads and wasn't sure which road to go down. I've been standing here for a while. I've been busy. I finished, I finished Watch Stand Pray 365. I've, I finished the phonics teaching with the Pinkwright series. I've got another Pinkwright book to write. I need to do this Linux teaching. I have people asking me to learn Linux. There are kids in Taiwan who kill themselves because they're told that they got only 90% in school and that means that their life's worth this because they can't go to the top number one school in Taiwan. Their father beat them for it and so they jump off a building and die. And I wanted this Linux curriculum to tell them that life doesn't have to be over. You can learn on your own without a classroom because that seems to be a secret in Taiwan. But I'm putting that on hold because as much as Taiwan needs a teacher, they need a teacher who's loyal to his clients first. See y'all next week.